Today, we're going to learn about all the different parts of the hydrological cycle, starting with precipitation and stuff like surface runoff. We're going to also be looking at infiltration, interception, percolation, all in different parts, transpiration, flow flow, everything we're going to learn about the water cycle today. And as we said, we start with precipitation. What's happening here? I'm safe. Oh, good morning, good afternoon, or good night. My name is Diana Scott from Form 40, and I am Vanessa Davis from Form 4S. And today, we will be presenting on precipitation. But what is precipitation? We have to find out where it falls in the equation. Precipitation is a process in the water cycle. No, what is the water cycle? The water cycle, also called the hydrological cycle, is a process in which water moves throughout the Earth's atmosphere. This includes evaporation, transpiration, condensation. But today, we'll be focusing on precipitation. But what is precipitation? Precipitation is a mouthful. It's a tongue twister. I can say precipitation. See, I was going to say, I can say precipitation five times fast than I can't. Can you? Let's get into what precipitation is. Precipitation is any liquid or any frozen water that is formed in the atmosphere and falls back to the earth. Precipitation has many different forms. What are they? We have rain, we have sleet, snow, hail, and much more. Here is an example of precipitation. And it afternoon class. Today we'll be presenting on condensation. I am Sean Gabbardan and this is Akira Fonsi. Condensation is a process by which water vapor in the air turns into liquid water. When warm moist air comes into contact with a cool surface, it cools rapidly and then releases its moisture, which then collects as small droplets of liquid water. An example of condensation is dew in the morning. As you can see, the grass is wet due to condensation. Water cools droplets into grass. Right? Good morning, viewers. My name is Lloyd Cole from 4S. And I'm Travis Davis from 4J. Today we'll be discussing evaporation. So, what is evaporation? Evaporation is when a liquid substance comes and gets. So when you heat water like in a cake or a pot or sun heats water, it evaporates and becomes a gas. Alright, so evaporation is very is a very important part of the water cycle. Heat from the sun or solar energy, it powers evaporation and it soaks up the moisture from the oceans, lakes, puddles, uh, water on the concrete, etc. And it evaporates them as water vapor. Never increases. Okay. It increases at the surface, the water level will decrease, and all the water will dry out. Alright, so the excess water molecules don't disappear, they stay in the atmosphere, affecting humidity and moisture in the air.
Good afternoon, viewers. I'm Tyrese Walter, the Form 40. And my name is Jay and Billy from Form 40. And today we'll be looking at surface runoff. Surface runoff is when water flows on any surface and doesn't penetrate the underlying materials. Um, surface runoff may be caused by the imperviousness of underlying material or the underlying material area is already saturated. Interception is using our foreign surfaces to block some types of precipitation from mm -hmm. touching the soil and the ground. So for example, Interception refers to all processes that prevent rainfall from immediately reaching the soil. Vegetation intercepts water in two ways. By catching rainfall on leaf surfaces throughout the canopy, and through the litter that it deposits on the ground. Intercepted water may reach the ground by dripping from the canopy also known as the fall or flowing down vegetation stems also known as stem flow. But a significant component of intersection is often evaporated. Good day everyone, I am Zurel Brown and Andrew Simmons. Today we will be presenting on transpiration. Transpiration is a part of the hydrological cycle, also known as the water cycle. What is transpiration? Transpiration, which mostly occurs in the day, is the evaporation of water from leaves. How does it work? Ah, this is how it works now. The sun would evaporate the water from the surface of the leaf in the form of water vapor into the atmosphere. It also evaporates water from inside the leaf through the small openings called stomata. This is the end of our presentation on transpiration. I hope you have learned a lot.
sun kind of bright though. I'm going to turn on the camera. Only for bloopers. My name is Janelle Chambers from 4A. This is Professor Alan from 4A. And this is Evan Jack. See, she is still dry. Walters of Form 40 and my name is Gideon Billy from Form 4A and today we will be looking at surface runoff. Surface runoff is when water flows off a surface and doesn't penetrate. Good morning um, guys and viewers. Um, I'm Tyrese Walters of Form 40 and my name is Gideon Billy. And today we will be looking at surface runoff. Surface runoff is when water flows over a surface. Oh no! You suck! <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, as the name suggests, surface runoff is what it says. Run off of water on a surface that penetrate the underlying surface. 